Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Taurus, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Taurus. You can find in the description my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go support me on Ko-Fi, help me reach the next level so we can get another deck. And if you'd like to make donations, feel free to do so. I do preach donations here. So Taurus, let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself. There's a message for you. Number 39 with star royalty. So you see what you're appearing as, Taurus? Number 5 with mother and father healing. Maybe healing between you and your mother or you and your father or one of those things there. Or 23 with galactic core. And Number three with Quantum Hearts. We have a lot of threes here. So let's read about your cards because some of these I don't really know because I don't really use this deck. So starting with Quantum Heart. The Palladian family, as well as many other star allies from Galactical Federation of Light, operate on a multi-dimensional wavelength in which time is easily moldable and interchangeable. Referred to as time travel or timeline jumping, on your plane, this access to the multi-dimensional field allows for one to transcend earthly limitations and further advance their self-mastery with ease and grace. When this card is presented, it is your Palladian allies requesting for you to open up to your open up your dimensional availability by tuning into the radiance of your quantum heart. It is here in your heart space, so it's telling you to drop down in your heart space, Taurus. Right? You have your Palladians asking you to do this. It is here in your heart space where the star incarnate has access to the multidimensional universe or quantum highway. These quantum realms, which your Earth scientists are starting to discover, grant one access to the space of miracles where one is able to rewire their past, rewrite karmic contracts, dismantle outdated soul agreements, and connect to your future self in order to evolve your present life path. Alright, look at this. So, by you dropping down in your heart space, which your Palladian allies are asking you to do, you'll be able to like travel to, like, to other dimensions. Alright? Rewrite things. Alright? Different, like, soul contracts. You know, a bunch of things there. The possibilities are infinite. When one accesses the quantum heart, and this card signifies that much choice is being presented to you in the moment. Now is a time where the universe is granting you an open lane highway and asking you where to navigate through your choice. Yes, we have missions in focus, but there is also self-mastery and free will built in this equation. Right now, it is a time where the canvas is blank and the universe is giving you the pen to write the story. Alright, look at this. By you doing this, you're, you're going to be shaping your future. What will you choose to do? Or, uh, Taurus. Alright. Take advantage and know that all your choices you make through your quantum heart will be in your highest alignment. Begin this process by connecting to the frequency of love and thus attuning to the wisdom of your heart. Here in the sacred place of love, you will enter a field that overcomes limitations and plugs you into the multiverse, a plethora of timelines and universes that your soul may choose to enter or exit any time it wishes. Simply calibrate your frequency to the world you wish to enter and observe how through your intention and vibration, you shift your destination. It says freedom, options, infinite possibility, play, accelerated growth, new beginnings, love, romance, relationships, living in the heart. Number 23. Galactic core. In the direct middle of all star systems rests the central point of our universe, referred to as galactic central core. Known throughout our societies as a birthplace of consciousness, the central core is where life is born and time returns to complete standstill. It is here where we return as brothers and sisters to the infinite love that makes us whole. This core is not just a distant, metaphorical, celestial body that one needs to leave their body to experience, but an accessible gateway that we Palladians often connect with for higher guidance and recharging our energetic systems, similar to how, similar to how you 
cues, sun gaze with your star, Ra. In receiving this card, the loving light of the galactic core has come your way to remind you that love is your home. Now is a necessary moment to pause in the motions and reconnect with self-love, self-care, and release. Whether in Epsom salt bath, getting off technology, or walking in the woods, this card is requesting that self-care and compassion towards the self be a priority. As the light of the galactic core soothes any recipient who experiences her grace, so too does self-love. Heal the human in a world often full of tension. Know that you are loved, now go love yourself. It says relax, letting go, self-love, self-appreciation, self-kindness, go easy, don't force anything. Arriving. Like number 39 with star royalty. You know who you are. You know why you came. You're made of the essence of star royalty. How we define royalty on the Pleiadians is much different from how it can be seen on your earth. Those that are royal to our societies aren't the ones simply born into a certain blood lineage, but those whom have done the work within themselves to know on such a deep level that they are one with all sorts of creation. This anchored unity source brings these beings into such a wonderful state that they are able to perform mirac- miraculous by harnessing the energy that creates universes and using it to serve the collective. This is all possible through self-discovery of one's royalty inside. Star Royalty card arrives when you are being requested to make a proclamation that you are royal. You have done the internal work, went on your soul journeys, and climbed the mountains of yourself to uncover many gifts along the way. Now is time that your life work be recognized without any li- without any hint of downplaying your true self full worth. That made no sense, but whatever. By, <laughs> by making the declaration that you are royal, you proclaim to the universe that you are empowered being sent here to transform consciousness and serve creation. As you reside in a planet of harmonious balance, this act of declaring who you are, declaring you are royal, takes any power, takes away any power and resources from shadow leaders that abuse their privilege and equalizes out the playing field naturally. Seeing the importance of honoring self and sit in the energy of thankfulness for being that is you. Self-gratitude, kindness, inner knowing, coming to light, celebration of self, worthiness, becoming whole, victory. Okay, so... Taurus, this message is for you. Now let's get some ruins and charms for yourself. Alright, so we have Aquarius. So you have those placements from one around you. You have this sun beetle, which you're connecting to. It's connected with the sun. Alright, we had sun god raw. I like, um, it was right here. And we were talking about one point you're reading. We have the dragon. The dragon can be the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon. Dragon can be power, strength, good luck, prosperity, supernatural powers. We also have the rainbow on it, which can be all the chakras, can be ascension. We have Bastet. We have Hathor. We have this Aztec serpent god, which you're connecting to. We have the green man, which is connected to with the earth. We have justice. We have commitment, can be in commitment in love, can be commitment towards yourself, can be commitment towards spirituality. We have strength, we have an opening. It's happening with inside the self. There's a lot of changes here, and there's rewards coming in. All right, so Taurus, that's all I have for you. Like I said, in the description down below, you can find my Etsy shop and my Ko-Fi. Go support me on there. Would really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.